G'day family, friends and followers. Welcome to another video from Sweeney's Creek Farm. This one is a project that I've had on the go for a little while and I'm very excited about this one. This is my first worm farm. Little shout out to another channel. This one is designed very similar to another channel up in Queensland, uh, Rob Bob. Rob runs a fantastic channel. Uh, he has some awesome videos on uh, backyard gardening, homesteading, uh, worm farms and particularly with his aquaponics uh, so if you haven't checked him out please go, go and have a look he's got a fantastic channel so a few of the items we've used to make this worm farm um, I have a recycled bathtub I've made a frame for that to uh, sit in I'm going to show you that in a moment I have some locally sourced horse manure horse manure is going to be the first medium that I put in there for the worms to consume I've constructed a sieve because I want to get that horse manure nice and fine, uh, break it up before I get it in there for the worms. Uh, I have some gravel mix, which is going to go down on the bottom of the bath to form uh, a layer on the bottom where the juices and the worm we can uh, accumulate and then uh, drop out the bottom of the bathtub and be collected. I have a worm starter pack, uh, which I sourced from uh, the local hardware store. Um, this is uh, certainly not compulsory. You can certainly collect worms out of your own local environment and put them in. The beauty of this is uh, it has a, a large amount of worms. It's got a large amount of worm eggs in there. It's going to be a quick, surefire way to get your worm farm up and running really quickly. These guys are going to eat and breed and replicate and I'll be later on able to split them as I'll end up with more worms and then add them into other bathtubs to create further worm farms. So it's a, a good investment to start off with to get your worm farm up and running nice and quickly. So the first thing I want to do is just show you the frame that I've made. This has all been made out of recycled pallets. It's all been actually constructed simply using my chainsaw, uh, cutting up into pieces and then uh, screwing it all together. Uh, I'm then going to show you how I'm going to set up the drainage area down the bottom. Um, that then has to be separated by uh, a material that will allow the water to go through and then we'll load up the horse manure and then we'll introduce the worms. Um, then all I'm going to do is just have a temporary cover over the top just to keep the, um, keep the weather off them. Uh, I've put them inside this frame because I'll also be setting up some shade cloth up on here and hanging it over. And, uh, that will be to give the worms a nice shady spot to sit, uh, particularly during the upcoming uh, summer months as our uh, temperature starts to climb. Worms don't do well in very hot environments, so we need to keep this nice and moist and nice and cool and in a nice shady spot. So that's, uh, that's the purpose of the frame it's actually sitting in. Looks remarkably like my compost bins. So this is the design of the worm farm frame that I've come up with. I've got uh, a pallet that I cut down to fit uh, the width of the bathtub. Uh, I've got one on either end and then I've simply used uh, some timber that I had on the property to then form a, uh, a frame on the side, uh, a bracket down the bottom to hold the uprights together and then a diagonal to stop it from flexing and, and moving. Um, took my measurements from inside the bathtub so I just wanted to make sure that these bits of wood actually sit up inside the lip and um, that bathtub, once, particularly once it's filled up with the material, is going to sit in there quite nicely. You'll notice that there's no diagonal cross brace on the front. That's to make sure that we've got access underneath here uh, because there will be a container underneath there which will be collecting the worm juice or the worm wee, whichever one you call it. And, uh, that liquid is going to be absolute fertilizer gold and that will be taken down and added to our garden beds and in, onto our uh, fruit trees. To create the drainage down the bottom, I've uh, been able to source some trays from a local nursery. These have holes in them, uh, which means uh, they're going to create a void and but allow the liquid to actually go through them. Uh, I've got some old pieces of um, Aggie pipe uh, there as well. So I'm going to set that up with uh, rocks and have these on top to support, get that nice and, and level. I'm actually going to use a piece of trampoline mat because it's porous which will allow the water to go through and that will cover that there. That will stop the worms from going down into the wet area and drowning. Rob on his video has uh, also said that you can use um, uh, geofabric, you can use shade cloth, 
um, anything in there to actually stop those worms from traveling down and then getting stuck in the uh, area that's going to be quite uh, wet and uh, have a lot of liquid down in there. With the rocks that water will eventually be able to travel downhill because I'm setting the bathtub up to run down to this end. It will then go out the drain and be collected in the container underneath. So as you can see there, um, those trays are going to make a nice void underneath there where the liquid will be able to uh, flow down and then out through the drain. I've got some wire over the drain uh, to stop it getting blocked up. I've uh, got some Aggie pipe there which will again create a bit of a void under there. That's going to give a nice solid base for the mat to go over the top. Then we'll add it in the uh, sifted horse manure up to a layer. Then we'll introduce the worm starter pack and get the little wormies in here. So there we go, uh, got our drainage layer set up exactly how I'd like it. So we've got the uh, protective layer on there now. Uh, this is an old trampoline mat, so it's porous, the, any liquid will go through there. I'm now going to sift the horse manure, that's just to break it up and to make it nice and fine, give the worms a good chance to get through and start uh, consuming it. What a fun way to spend my day off, sifting horse manure. There you have it there. That's uh, three bags of uh, nicely sifted horse manure. Uh, that's made a great little home for them. Um, we're going to add kitchen scraps and uh, things to the top layer here. They'll come up and start to eat that and break it down. Um, this horse manure layer will slowly start to uh, greatly lower down as it's uh, eaten and composted by these amazing animals. So uh, I think it's time to introduce them to their new home. The latest addition to Sweeney's Creek Farm, 1,000 little worms. This is a worm farm starter kit uh, from one of our local hardware stores. First time I've ever used one of these. And there's a whole heap of wormy goodness in here. Let's get them out and introduce them. And I'm just going to uh, Get some cardboard over the top of it and make sure they're nice and wet. There they are. Hardest working labourers you'll ever get on your farm. They're just beautiful. So uh, let's see how they how they go in their new environment. This is a little bit dry, a bit dry. I'm going to have to water it in very soon. I don't need to do the shade cloth over it at the moment. We're just in the middle of spring, so it's not we're not getting huge temperatures, uh, which will give me a bit of time to get the uh, shading area done here. But certainly, a cover on here will protect them well enough during our, our spring weather. But, uh, yeah, they're already starting to head down. They're just amazing animals.
there's the completed worm farm. I've grabbed some leftover sheeting from the side of the house, from the house build. That's just gone over the top. That'll help keep the weather out there. Hope you really enjoyed the video, guys. Um, hope it's something that's uh, useful for you. Worm farms are a fantastic resource to add to your farm. Uh, please, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, hit that like button. Uh, if you're enjoying the channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Come along and uh, follow us in the journey. We've got a pretty big five-year plan, maybe a 10-year plan, maybe even a 15-year plan. But we've certainly got some big things in the, in the works coming up. So please, come on board and join the family and, and come on this ride with us. Great to have you here, guys. See you real soon.